Okay, what we want to show first is the music. On the left-hand side is a Muse score called The Evolution of the Metaverse 1, which sounds like this. On the right-hand side is an animation of Evolution of the Metaverse, which sounds like this and looks... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing a New Realms, Episode 16, Chapter Stream, Recenter, Images, Listen, Riku, Composing. In this episode, we re entered on several topics. We were reflecting on music that haunts us, and by haunting, we mean something that impacted us emotionally in the past that we tend to often want to recreate. It doesn't always mean a negative haunting, but just something really catchy. Sometimes it could be a negative emotion as well, but it's typically emotional. Um, also, because we've been working with a performing arts group, we've been thinking about the nature of performance and listening an audience. Listening is the gift of attention that audiences give performers in return for their work. And what we're realizing is that performing and attending to the performance is a co-creative process. Uh, also, a few technical notes. We have been uh, working out what we call our tri-stream recording method. This is an updated picture. The main screen here is uh, shows what we call PC1. And down here, now we're showing PC2. PC2 is logged in and recording just sound. It, it's, it's not powerful enough to give a high-res video image, but it's plenty powerful enough to record high-res sound. And then PC1 is uh, recording on the right-hand side a quality visual image, and in the middle, uh, well, in this case, we were actually recording both of these images at the same time in, uh, in an experiment, which we'll show you in a minute. But typically, the center image has been only for monitoring what's going on, showing all the details like character names, whereas the right-hand side is what we call a clean visual. Yeah, here's, here's the recording of the, the monitor on the left-hand side. So we were quite um, adventuresome to run two instances of Open Broadcaster System at the same time recording. Uh, our lesson learned from that is that... Uh, it pulls on our CPU, and only the one that's front and center uh, is smooth, and the one that's not front and center on the main monitoring area, it tends to get a little laggy. We're also working in presentations for, um, let me show you that in a minute, of slides, and Part of that presentation is for audience interaction, and we had so many ideas for audience interaction, we had to do something to get us off of Deaf Center. And one of the, our favorite uh, video channels, Bruce, uh, David Bruce Composer, uh, we used one of their tips. And this is a long Many Chapters episode. It started on the 15th. It's been two weeks long just because of so much is going on. So what we're going to do is show you some highlights from all this. Um, in fact, this picture that we just showed you is us recording a lecture. And what we did with that lecture was we... We were going to show you what we exactly what we did with that lecture. So in this project, we had... Um, two video tracks and one soundtrack. And what we wanted to do was uh, go back and forth between them. Go back and forth between them. So in typical fashion, let's just start at the beginning and show you. Now you recognize that music. That is our current work. Today I'm going to use a speakeasy for part of this discussion. Um, this is something we use in Second Life to help those who uh, have uh, hearing difficulties. 
So that's the uh, sound, the, the main soundtrack, which was on the computer number two. And then somewhere around here, somewhere around here, we transition. And we'll just... Uh, Very easily to go along with the talk. And we try and do as much as we can here um, like in that. this place uh, on the basis of universe. And then a little bit over here. Examine society at a time when Western civilization was on the cusp of major change. He referred to it as the electric age. Um, so but that term really. <laughs> it's almost anticlimactic to show you this way, but what it took to get those nice smooth transitions when it was fully rendered was, as we said, may we just mention this again, using what we're calling the tri-stream recording setup and then learning to work with the recorded materials and uh, and produce uh, video edits like this. So we were kind of chuffed about that. The other thing that we worked on is uh, preparing for an upcoming presentation where, again, we're, tr we're trying to, to present the process of composing that we've been doing in this stream for several years. So we're composing a presentation on composing. <laughs> and the purpose of the presentation is to share the process of composing. And in order to prepare that presentation, we're sharing with you the process of us composing it. So for us, it's like standing between two mirrors and, and or looking into your own eyes. So this is the script. So one of David Bruce, David Bruce Composer's tips was when you're feeling boxed, just write something quick and crappy. Because once you write, then all you have to do is rewrite. And rewriting is easier than writing for some people. So we wrote this script. We dictated it using voice typing. And then we went back and we started figuring out where do we want to put some images and things. And then we went and collected a whole bunch of images and things. So over on this side is all kind of images that we found to match the script on the left-hand side. As a matter of fact, here is a picture. Of, oh, I didn't put his picture in there, but some of our favorite YouTube channels. So we were able to then create some matching sound clips. So now we have uh, an image example which is this for the symbol 47 and a sound to go with it. And this is this, uh, and we discovered that Google Docs even lets you play the sound. So this is part of the sound file that goes with this image. So our goal is that in Second Life, we'll be able to play that. We've already uploaded this and tested that it does indeed play. Uh, and then each one of these files where we wanted to sound like uh, down here, piano keyboard demonstrating the 12 tones goes like this. And then down here, we want to show some other thing. Where did we show this? This is, um, yeah, we need to add stuff. This is demonstrating a five tone scale, which you've seen us create over and use in this series. Did you catch that? That was the minor and the major. Here we go again. They're different. So that'll be fun showing that off. <laughs> and then this was the first ever thing we ever posted online. Anyway, not to go on too long. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. We're, we're doing cross-dimensional thinking in order to present and demonstrate cross-dimensional thinking. And, and the part that we're working on next is this is kind of the part where we kind of present the data 
but the part where we we want putting it all together we want it we want the audience to do something together so the first part is telling it as a story and the second part is with our audience recreating it as a shared experience like we do with you guys in this stream and one of the coolest things is while we were jabbering away on the stream um guy doer stopped by who's a longtime favorite and i want to show you this um quote from our chat by his permission um, well the quote we got out of it is that the hybrid metaverse is a studio experience guy was sharing working with somebody on twitch interactively and they exchanged files and he worked on it and um, it was beautiful. So what we want to do to bring this to a close is we're going to show the state of the animation at this point of what we're calling the evolution of the metaverse one. And we did some experimenting in here, but rather than explain all that, we're just going to play this animation for you and that will bring us home. Okay, start this part. So what we like about this treatment of the composition is that we, the composition itself was just improvised fast, live, on the spot. It was an improv. And then when we were editing the dance and light show, we noticed that sometimes with lag in the different performers coming across, we got a kind of a, uh, things that were supposed to happen at the same time had a slight line delay. So we put a line delay down here. And then we, um, then we wanted, I don't know, this is called the blue. Down here you can see this. The red is the same part, just three times on a time, time delay. And anyway, this was an improv pretty much. So anyway, our ideas for next time are to, are, in complete the dance and light show vid edits. We, we had our last show couple days ago and we're going to put together kind of the best bits from our clean sound that we showed you on PC number two and uh, clean visuals from PC number one. Continue our lecture vid edit series. We're done with that one but another one is coming up. Uh, several are coming up this semester and continue our presentation preparation and the audience interaction script especially. Shout outs to Guy Doer for the wonderful dialogue. Uh, Silent Lurker, we always appreciate you there giving us listening, co-creative process. Uh, FF Head came by again. We never notice them in time to actually talk to them alive, but they come by. We say hi. And Cross Dimensional Creator has joined us. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>